Hey there folks, in this video I want to do a quick demo of an app uh, that I'm trying out that allows you to use in this day and age of uh, Zoom calls and things that allows you to use your iPhone that has an amazing camera as your camera for your Zoom calls and Skype and stuff instead of your janky gross built-in iMac or a MacBook Pro camera or even like a Logitech like I use usually a C920 web camera. So the app that I'm testing is called Camo. It's from a company called Reincubate. And right now it's in trial and um, beta process, I guess. And so you can actually sign up and maybe get, get uh, access to it as well. Um, and basically, like they say, it works with Zoom, Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, etc. All sorts of apps that allow you to basically video chat. What I really dig about it is that it has, it's not only an app for your iPhone, it's also uh, an app that you run on your computer. And so then you can control the camera on your phone. So let me just quickly show you how it works. All right, so this is the Mac app. As you can see, it's basically not configured yet to totally work because it's in beta, it's in development, but uh, you can, oh, I didn't notice the hue thing is off, optional. Um, it does give you the ability basically to you can see my source is my iPhone camera, the, my iPhone Lemon, uh, which is the iPhone 11, yellow, it's Lemon, my business is Lemon Productions, etc. Um, so what's interesting there is possibly down the road you could have maybe multiple USB like iPhone cameras plugged into your computer and it would you could switch between them. It also allows you to choose your lens. So right now I've got the default wide angle lens. I can go ultra wide if I want to show off the entirety of my office, hopefully it's mostly clean, or go switch to the selfie camera, which right now is just a nice view of the door <laughs> and nothing too much exciting back that way. And, uh, and then also the resolution that you're wanting to output from it. So for giggles, you could go really low res, I guess, if you wanted to, just to mess with somebody. I'm not sure why, I guess if you're in a low bandwidth situation, maybe you might wanna do that. And then you can also pa pause it. So um, I'm not sure why exactly, unless you're wanting to like not have it show with stuff that you were doing, you could pause it. And then obviously I'm stuck in that. Um, and then I can also turn on autofocus, which I think it's doing a pretty good job of. Uh, still doesn't focus up. Yeah, it seems to be just be on me. Obviously, at some point, they're going to unlock some of this stuff where you can mess with uh, the settings. You can have it mirror my video so it's looking that way instead of this way. Obviously, they'll have presets upgrade right now. It doesn't work because it's not final. So just to show you quickly here how this could work, if you were on a Zoom call, I'll start a new meeting with Zoom. Join the call. Start video. So that's with the uh, ca Incubate camera. You can see it just shows up. FaceTime built-in camera. Looks like this. It's partially covered by my <laughs> HC920 web camera. So that looks like that, obviously. And then, yeah, I could choose this. And obviously you're free to move it around wherever you want. I just have it set up differently here because I don't have room behind my desk. Uh, and then while I'm in the call here, I can go over to this and switch it to say ultra wide mode if I was wanting to show something in my office let's say so you can see I don't have a lot of room behind my computer right now but you could get a mount you know put the camera or the phone up there um, and then similarly I can pause it for some reason so then it'll actually show it right here it's paused and and then resume so I switch back to the wide camera so that's zoom we'll end that call good call everybody that was great uh, what about Skype? Let's see. So in Skype, I have obviously just like in Zoom, my HD camera, my FaceTime camera I can choose, and then also the Incubate camo camera. And similarly, if I choose ultra wide, switches to ultra wide view or selfie even if I had that going. What I really like about this is the fact that if you're using selfie view, or, or sorry, if you're using the ultra wide or wide angle view, but actually using it on you know, facing the camera, I can rely on Camo, the app, to show me what I'm seeing through there. So I don't have to like somehow get behind the camera, see through the app on the phone, and then um, line everything up and hope I'm sitting in the right spot. So that's a very quick look at uh, Reincubate Camo. And like I said, if you visit their website, reincubate.com slash camo, you can sign up and try it out. I don't know what officially what their pricing is going to be. Hopefully it's not like crazy expensive, but it is a really great app. And uh, I think it'll be worth a lot for some people if you're using that because rather than buying some sort of expensive DSLR camera with a Elgato cam link and, and things like that to hook that all up to make your video look a lot better, you can use what's already running on your 
phone, which has a, if you have an iPhone 11 or X, XR or whatever, any of the newer models, they've got an amazing camera on them. And uh, so to have that ability and that control over it inside of something like Zoom could be really cool. I did try running it inside of Discord and it didn't work there yet. I would assume that at some point they would allow access to that, but I know Discord's integration on the Mac with video is a little bit wonky. It doesn't use some allow you to use the stuff, other cameras, virtual cameras, like uh, I tried the Snap camera, for example, Snapchat's uh, virtual camera it doesn't work inside of Discord either. So um, maybe just some software updates, hopefully that can happen on either side. I'm not sure if that's a Discord thing or a camo thing, but um, that would be the one issue just to be aware of. I know lots of folks who visit my channel are coming because of discord video audio issues so just be aware of that i guess but uh, again this is still a beta so under developments uh things can change obviously and uh as it comes out and so look forward to seeing more from camo and uh checking out the final product when it's released later this year hopefully so thanks for watching the video if you feel so inclined feel free to subscribe down below and leave me a comment or question about camo as always, my business is uh, Lemon Productions, where I edit podcasts for folks. So if you're interested in that, uh, give me a shout. You can hit, hit up my contact page, and uh, you can also book a consulting call if you like lemonproductions.ca slash hire if you want to chat with me about podcasting or about hiring me for podcasting or just want to chat for a bit uh, for hire. <laughs> we can do that too. Uh, and uh, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Leave me a comment below if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see something I haven't covered yet and uh yeah thanks for watching have a great day bye